it's very early guys but today I get to do something that I haven't done in what feels like an age can you guess what this vlog's about? So you may have worked this out already, but if not, let's get to where we've got to go. We've arrived guys. rabbit now so if you haven't worked it out yet which I'm pretty sure you already have I'm here at uh, Stubbers Adventure Centre in Upminster and I'm here to partake in some open water swimming which has finally reopened with Swim for Try oh this is gonna be good now strangely I am feeling a little bit apprehensive about this I think it's apprehension mixed with a bit of excitement you know I haven't swum in water for over eight weeks um, it's not like I'm going to have the edge of a pool to cling to when I need a rest so yeah and this will be the first time in open water this year I am looking forward to it and there are some social guidance distance things that we have to be watching out for and putting in place which does mean today there's no showers unfortunately so I'll be going home to shower at the end of this but let's get to it Swim done. So the swim's all now done. I'm just about to leave the lake. Uh, it's a beautiful day again. 
So I did probably around 3k each lap is about 950 meters or so. I have no idea of time or pace. I wasn't concerned about that to be honest. You know, it's just great to get back in the water. And as I say, it wasn't as hard as what I thought it would be. Um, the lake was really warm. It was just under 20 degrees. So yeah, all in all, a really good swim. And I'll be back here again next week. So I'm back now in the car, ready just to go home. Uh, many people do ask me why I travel to this lake in Upminster, but it's not really that far. It took me 25 minutes this morning to get here. You know, and when you can swim in a lovely clear lake, you know, it's great. Uh, that we, you know, I have the local dock close to me and the dock is fine to swim in you know i've got no problem with that but it can't beat the lake it can't be beat the lake for the clearness uh the freshness and also you know they do have the changing facilities here you know in my mind there isn't anything worse than having to leave a place or a center without showering and the fact that you've got to do all of that when you get home which i have to do now so yeah this this is definitely a plus that you can do that here usually oh and one other thing you know i'm always keen to check out new venues for open water swimming so if you've got any ideas or uh, places that you can recommend in and around london sort of essex way then you know drop me some comments below and let me know so i'm nearly home now i'm just about to get showered and consume a second breakfast of the day um, I haven't got much more on really for the day. I've got a run to do and possibly pop out. I've got a delivery coming today because I stupidly smashed my TV in my training room, believe it or not. And I know what you're thinking. No, it wasn't through anger or frustration. It was just an accident. What happened was I had a stretch band attached to my pull-up bar, which I didn't know was loose. And obviously I pulled it. And what happened? The thing came off, pinged across the room, and ended up smashing my TV. So yeah, a costly mistake, an unfortunate mistake really. Uh, I don't know, but anyway, I've got a new TV being delivered later on today. So I've got that to put up at some point as well. This is one job I hate doing. Uh. So that's it guys. Just finished up my day's training with another run. And that was a, another interval run, a speed run today. And I've done two of those this week. A bit less mileage, but a bit more intensity. My legs have felt great this week. I've just this week started another six week FT build. And I'm doing it on Swift this time instead of Trainer Road. Uh, my trainer road subscription is up this well it's up at the beginning of july and i wanted to give the swift uh, workouts a go to see what they were like and compare them um, but i do have four uh, referrals on my trainer road account so if anyone's interested in trying it out for a month free and you get access to all the workouts and everything uh drop me a drop me a line i'll put my email in the description um, and just let me know and I'll send you over a referral link I am now going to leave the vlog there guys for this week I will go and get this thing edited for you a lot and uploaded by tomorrow but like always you know if you enjoyed the vlog today do give me a thumbs up hopefully you got a good sense of uh, what open water swimming is like and I hope you like the drone shots a new added feature and as always, I'd be really grateful for any subscriptions and I will see you next week.